Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some news, so let's get to it. The very first thing I want to tell you guys about is a brand new Passion Charger model. This is an Edmontosaurus, and you may remember the fact that we just recently had a model from Passion Charger that included an Edmontosaurus. Well, it was actually a deceased, mostly eaten Edmontosaurus in uh, that model, that diorama that included a Tyrannosaurus. Well, we now have a living version of an Edmontosaurus, and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Probably the best Edmontosaurus model that I've ever seen in my life. It is that good, and that is something that can probably be often said when it comes to different Passion Charger models, as they always produce incredible sculpts on every one of their models and this is definitely another incredibly gorgeous model from Passion Charger something that I would love to get my hands on of course review for you guys but also add to my collection being such an incredibly beautiful Edmontosaurus definitely something that I think many people would be interested in picking up as there are very few really nice models of the species out there so if you would like to pick this up as always I will include a link in the description to Passion Charger on Facebook or you can actually await the arrival for this model as it will most likely be arriving on Dan's dinosaurs at some point in the very near future. I also want to let you guys know as far as Rodrigo Rivas goes, I've been kind of promoting his work for quite some time, well he has officially started an Etsy store so it may have been a little complicated previously for people to get a hold of some of his models, now he has officially put up the articulated Compsognathus that I had shown you guys previously and it is now officially up for sale on his Etsy store. Some of his other models will of course follow at some point in the very near future but that's something that I thought was very exciting, something I really wanted to let you guys know about so it'll be a little easier if you are interested in picking up some of Rodrigo Rivas models that they are now available on his Etsy store so make sure you check the description as I will have a link right there to his Etsy store for you to check out. I also wanted to let you guys know that we have some images of the second version of the Giganotosaurus from Yuppie Chen as he just recently released a beautiful interpretation of a male Giganotosaurus, a very large, very intimidating looking version of a Giganotosaurus. And he now has this kind of female version sort of relaxing and the two go together really nicely as far as a diorama goes, which you can see from this image. But again, Yuppie Chen hammering out an incredible sculpt, something that I think is really cool, and also a side of Giganotosaurus you don't often see as far as kind of a relaxed pose, so that in its own right is really quite cool. Definitely something that I personally am a big fan of, and just generally being a work of art from Yuppie Chen. It definitely is something I am a big fan of since I have his Tyrannosaurus and that is one of the most beautiful models in my collection. I can only imagine the Giganotosaurus would be just as incredible if not better. So if this is something you would like to pick up, make sure you contact Yuppie Chen on Facebook as I will include a link in the description to do that. Or you can of course contact me and I will contact him for you. And then as far as Nanmu goes, we officially have a look at the very first paint scheme of their upcoming V-Rex and it is about as picture perfect as far as a paint scheme for a V-Rex goes as I have ever seen in my life. It is just drop dead gorgeous. Again, they always hammer out an incredible paint job on their figures and I am just unbelievably excited for this v-rex just so insanely impatient awaiting its arrival i cannot wait to get my hands on this take a look at it with you guys because it is definitely again going to be the best v-rex model i think that we'll have out there currently as far as something in this size range goes and the base as well looks just absolutely gorgeous as far as the work that they've done on that paint wise of course the sculpt is incredible but the paint as well is beautiful and i'm really psyched to see that Nanmu continues to release bases with some of their figures as I am a huge fan of bases with my figures and even more so a huge fan of Nanmu themselves so that combination is pretty much as awesome as it can get. Again this V-Rex looks unbelievable. And then as far as the Beast of the Mesozoic line goes we have a look here at the paint scheme of the upcoming Teratophonius. I do know that David Silva hasn't actually confirmed that this is the Teratophonius, but I'm quite certain that that is exactly what it is, as well as many other people that I had seen replying to the post about this were all pretty confident it's the Teratophonius. But again, another really nice, really natural looking paint scheme. I'll be very excited to see what it looks on the actual prototype, as we have started to see some prototypes from the upcoming Tyrannosaur series, and they've been incredible so far, so I'm really hyped to continue to see these paint schemes that we're seeing on these drawings translated to the actual prototypes and speaking of prototypes we have many very nice very high quality images of the upcoming 
Vista he ever served from the Beast of the Mesozoic Tyrannosaurus series and you can see exactly as we had assumed it is beautiful absolutely beautiful I really love the paint scheme on this figure it is just incredibly natural overall as far as the color scheme that he's chosen and I really like the kind of darker black on the top and then those reddish tones that creep in underneath it all just looks so insanely cool the base as well is really cool looking also so this is definitely an instant purchase for me as far as this Vista he ever so easily the best version of this species that I know of out there currently and as usual David Silva is just taking each and every one of these Tyrannosaur series figures and knocking them straight out of the park sporting pretty much what I would say is the perfect paint scheme with an incredible sculpt overall this thing is the total package and something that will unquestionably be added to my collection when it is officially released and then as far as Mesozoica goes we have a look at two potential paint schemes for their upcoming vintage ceratosaurus and uh, honestly I'm not too sure which one I like more initially I like this one we have this very cool greenish paint scheme that I think if you're going for the vintage look on a dinosaur you want a very vintage paint scheme and this looks again as perfectly vintage as it gets as most times older images of dinosaurs were always kind of given that greenish paint scheme or like brownish paint scheme basically a darker look and i feel like they've captured that perfectly here with this greenish paint scheme but they've also shown off this one which is almost kind of like a jurassic park 3 sort of look as far as the paint scheme goes and initially i was 100 percent sold on the greenish version but the more i kind of look at this one i'm really kind of enjoying this one as well so it's sort of a toss-up as far as which one i think i like more i really cannot tell at this point Point. so I'm going to ask you guys let me know in the comments which one of the two different versions here of the vintage ceratosaurus you like better because honestly at this point I'm not sure I can decide and then in something that is really cool a little ways back I had promoted the fact that Alex Kendrick was releasing a huge velociraptor blue bust and uh, it was a fully painted beautiful model released by him well there's actually some very exciting news as Alex Kendrick is now teaming up with Marco Makes to create some unbelievable Jurassic Park inspired and Jurassic World inspired dinosaur busts and you can see the very first one that they are currently working on here obviously is a Velociraptor appearing as though potentially Velociraptor Blue and it is just absolutely beautiful as pretty much everything that Marco creates always is and that same thing can be said for Alex Kendrick as everything I've seen from him as well has been extraordinarily gorgeous and the combination of those two working together of course they are going to create some beautiful beautiful models now the busts will be fully finished when sold so of course this is just kind of a work in progress as far as what you're seeing right here but I could not possibly be more excited about the potential for this line and just in general to see what they create as this looks picture perfect to Velociraptor Blue so I'm really interested to see what else they have to offer and as far as Marco makes goes he is actually just recently created an incredibly cool walking with dinosaurs inspired rubber sore which will be releasing at some point on his Etsy store and you can see it is actually the Liaplorodon, which he has just recently released a video on his channel of him sculpting it out, which is really cool. If you have a chance to check that out, it's definitely a great watch. But you can see the Walking with Dinosaurs Liaplorodon looks, again, about as picture perfect and as screen accurate as it gets when it comes to what we had seen in the Walking with Dinosaurs series, sporting that beautiful, very trademark Walking with Dinosaurs style paint scheme. And you can also see that there's actually an Ichthyosaurus that is included here with the model as well. So you kind of get a double whammy as far as as this release goes and you get two figures at the same time which I think is absolutely awesome as usual he has some incredible artwork as far as the box art that it's associated with as well just beautiful beautiful work in every possible way as far as Marco and the rubber source line and I'm really psyched to see him kind of branching out away from the Jurassic Park Jurassic World stuff even though I'd love to see more of that as well but anybody making walking with dinosaurs inspired figures you're definitely tugging at my heartstrings so of course I am 100% sold on them instantly because I cannot get enough walking with dinosaurs figures in my life and the final thing that I have for you guys is actually from Mattel as JP Toys official on Instagram had released a few images of some inbox figures with the upcoming C. Loris, which I think again we've seen the prototype image previously but seeing it in box is really nice and uh, definitely reassuring that it's coming soon but I think the paint scheme on this is beautiful and definitely better than the first one I'm a much bigger fan as far as the paint scheme goes on this one in comparison to the previous one which the previous one was really nice but that is just a really beautiful look for the C. Loris. and then we also have the 
newest variant of the Pro Ceratosaurus in box as well. And I'm definitely a big fan of the Pro Ceratosaurus from Mattel. So I'll be really excited to pick this one up, add this one to my collection as I cannot get enough variants of that Pro Ceratosaurus in my life. I just love that figure pretty much just like the Monolophosaurus. It's one of my favorites, I would say, as far as the Mattel line, especially when it comes to the smaller attack pack sized figures. So two really cool figures that are again of course in box here which means they should be hopefully coming somewhat soon to a store near hopefully all of us so as of right now guys that's all the news i've got when more comes out i'll be sure to send it your way but until then please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching